What is going on guys? It's Real Touch Gmail here back with another Java game development tutorial. And today we're going to be doing something pretty exciting today and that is we're going to be creating a menu system for our game. All right. So, if we go ahead and run the game now, as you can see, we have a nice little uh, game, you know, that that we finished up in the last tutorial. But now, yeah, let's add the menu to it. So, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do. So, first off, what we're going to need for this menu is we're going to need states for our game. You know, state for menu, state for uh, you know the the actual game. You know, states for the loader or something like that. So in order to create these states, we're going to create enumerations. All right. So you're going to say private enum, and then we're going to name it state, and then curly braces. And here we're going to put all of the states in our game. So I'm going to say menu and game and then put a semicolon at the end of this bracket here. So those are those are the two states for our game right now. I mean, we can add to this and and whatever we'd like, but that's all we need for right now. So then, now that we've created the enum, it's not actually doing anything yet. We need to create a variable for it. So I'm going to say private state or I'm sorry, private and then we're going to give it the modifier as a state and then we're going to name it state and right after that, we're going to equal to state dot menu. All right. So now we can use this state variable to check which state we are in for our game. So now that we're in menu, what we're going to do is we're going to just run down to the tick method here. And I'm just going to say if state equals equals state dot game. So only run through these tick methods if we are in the proper state for our game. Same thing with the rendering here. If state equals equals state dot menu, or I'm sorry, game, then we're gonna go ahead and render that stuff. And I'm also gonna do it with the key pressed, just so we don't create random bullets. If state equals equals state dot game so there we go all right so now if we went ahead and ran the game as you can see now we just get this blank screen here so this is where our menu is going to be this is the background of what I want the menu to be obviously if you wanted something different go ahead and put this draw background inside of the state here and then draw a new background just the same way we imported it into here uh, when we draw the menu. So in the render we're gonna say else if state equals equals state dot you guessed it menu then we're then whatever is in here is going to be what our menu looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new class here and I'm gonna call it menu and right off the bat I'm just going to give it a public void render method graphics G Import that, and in our game, I'm just going to quickly import it into here. So, private menu menu, and then initialize it. Menu equals new menu. Doesn't have any constructor uh, variables, so we're good with that. And uh, yeah, so now whatever we draw in the menu, right in here, is where we are going. Or, or is what we are going to render in our menu here. Now we could put all that code inside here. I just like putting it in a different class just so it's a little bit more organized. But uh, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So first off, let's give it an awesome title to our menu. So I'm, I'm gonna say, let's create a font real quick. We'll create a new font, Arial. Then we will create, uh, We'll make it bold. And the size of it, we're going to say 50. This is the title. Okay. So now we just have to set this. So g.set, g.set font, fnt0. And we'll set the color, g.set color, color.white, import color. And let's draw the string. So draw string space game. 
and we're going to do this game dot width divided by 2 and 100 we'll say all right so if we went ahead and ran the game we see nothing and that's because that we did not actually say render here so render g so menu dot render g in our state here so now if we run it space game cool so we have a nice little title for our menu now so let's go ahead and add the buttons because a menu is not a menu without buttons so for this we're gonna add some rectangles so public rectangle play button equals new rectangle and I'm gonna say game dot width divided by 2 plus 120 um, and so that's the X I'm gonna say the Y is 150 the width is 100 and the height is 50 and this can't be capitalized so I'm just gonna copy this two more times import rectangle and I'm gonna just change this to help button and quit button and in here instead of 150 I'm just gonna say 250 and 350 the, that's the Y value because you don't want all the boxes overlapped on top of each other okay now in order to draw our our rectangles we're gonna need graphics 2d instead of graphics so in order to do this we can just do a simple cast to enable graphics 2d so I'm just gonna say graphics 2d name it g2d equals and then cast it graphics 2d g import graphics 2d and now we can use that g2d here so I'm gonna say g2d dot draw play button g2d dot draw help button g2d dot draw quit button there we go if we run the game now whoa as you can see we now have three boxes that correlate to the buttons that we could press on our game here so they're blank right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw something real quick so let's create a new font F and T one we'll say this new font Arial we'll, we'll have to do font up bold and we'll make it around 30 we'll say and then we'll set the font F and T one and now we can draw on top of it so I'm gonna say G dot draw string play whoa I don't know what that was we'll say play and this is gonna be located on play button dot X and play button dot Y if we run it as you can see it says play it's in the wrong position though because it's going from the top left corner of that rectangle so now we can just add something like 19 and 30 We run it and there we go that looks good so uh, yeah there we have the play button so now we can just copy and paste paste down below here change this to help change this to quit change this to help button help button and quit button We go so now if we run it as you can see we now have an awesome looking menu here <laughs> we've got the play we've got the help and we've got the quit I don't think we're gonna have enough time to go into the actual mouse uh, you know getting the mouse coordinates and all that stuff but next tutorial we will do that so you can click on the help play button and it'll actually do something you'll click on the quit button and it'll actually do something and of course the help. So leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 40 likes this time. I know we can do it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.